Do you ever wonder why utilities would pay their customers to use less energy? Are they getting kickbacks from Whirlpool? Are they just dirty granola hippies trying to save the whales? Actually, granola sounds pretty good. Does anybody have any? Well, maybe that's a stretch. Let's just hop in the Wayback Machine. If you lived in New York City in the late 1800s, competition between electric companies made things look a little different than it does today. If you looked out your window, you'd probably see dozens of different power lines running from rooftop to rooftop or being buried under the streets. And if your neighbor bought power from a different provider, you might not be able to borrow their toaster because it wouldn't plug in your wall. It's crazy by today's standards, right? Well, today we avoid those problems by having a single utility provide service to everyone in their territory. Because they're a monopoly, to keep prices fair for consumers, they're regulated by the government. The regulator set prices based on what's fair for both the utility and its customers, considering things like the cost of providing service, but also how well the utilities meet goals the regulator set for services such as energy efficiency. So, many utilities have to provide the efficiency services that the regulators want because that's the way the industry works. But why do the regulators care so much about efficiency? For one thing, it's the best way to keep prices low for everyone. For another, efficiency is the only alternative to building new power plants, which people don't seem to like popping up in their backyards. And most utilities would agree that energy efficiency is a great customer service and it helps keep money in their customers' pockets. So fortunately, energy efficiency isn't just an idea from the granola crowd. It's simply a better way of doing things.